Today we'll be glazing and painting our pots. So we, you can glaze one, that means it makes it waterproof. Right here, this is glazed, and you can see the water in there. It is waterproof, you can drink out of it, you can put it in the microwave. To glaze a pot, we have to first paint on the glaze, and then it goes in the kiln where it, it's kind of like the oven where the kiln, where the, where the clay gets cooked, and it makes it hard. This pink stuff is what I put on top. It makes it hard and waterproof. The glaze is in the egg cartons. Please, you cannot mix the paint and the glaze. You do not glaze the bottom because the glaze could stick to the kiln. I'm only going to glaze the part that I see when it's not sitting down. So I don't need to glaze the bottom of it. And whenever I switch colors, just like I'm painting, I rinse out my brush like that. Then I get the next color. So you're going to paint it. When you are done, you're going to wait patiently. And when people at both tables are done, then we're going to switch. A warm color table will switch with a cool color table. So I'm going to finish this, and when you're done glazing, this is the part that I'm going to do. This is the teacher's part. It looks pink. I'm going to show you. Dip it in here, and then I would wipe off the bottom, because I don't want to stick to the bottom of the kiln. It looks pink. I promise. Your pot will not turn pink. It does this little magic trick in the kiln. It gets hard. It gets waterproof. The only thing this shows is the colors that you put on it. So once again, glaze is in the egg carton. You can glaze one pot that you want to be waterproof, only one. This is paint. It kind of looks like glaze, and it would hold water for maybe a few hours, and then it would start to leak. So the other pots that you have, you're going to paint. Now the paint is in these muffin tins. Now the spoon, this is if you have something that's food-like, this has actually turned green, but I have brown, you can kind of drizzle on with a spoon on top if you want to make it look like chocolate sauce. If you have something that you can put chocolate sauce, you drizzle it on. But you need to sort out your pieces when you get to your table. Sort out your pieces, pick one to glaze, the others you paint, wait until I check to make sure both tables are ready, and then I'll let you know when we switch.